Blessings and happy Sunday, soul travelers. It's Priestess Melissa. You are joining me here on the Priestess Prophecy. We're getting into our weekly reading for the collective. Tapping into the Goddess Aset Egyptian Oracle cards to see what the main energy is for us today. We're going to get into the Master Tarot for the Celtic Cross and see what's going on with all that. After that, we'll clarify it with the Vice Versa Tarot. And at the end, we will get a Romance Angels card. Yay, I switched it up. <laughs> All right, guys, how are you doing out there? We are really gearing up for some major changes in the astrological fields as well as within each one of us because that's obviously what that does, right? All right, well, thank you so much for all of your likes, comments, support. Truly appreciate all of you. And blessings to the angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Thank you for bringing the messages through that we most need this day for this week ahead. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Nice. Do you guys kind of feel things calming down more so overall? Um, I'm going to say if you're going more with the flow of the changes that are needing to be made at this time, I, I do feel like things are going to feel more balanced out, more peaceful for yourself. There may be a lot of changes going on for many of us right now. Last week we were getting the energy of set changes along with Nefertum and being calm and at peace, perhaps in spite of all of these challenges so that we can start to see things really flow. All right, now the Nile River, this talks about that things can flow in really fast, really good things, right? Um, but at the same time, you know, there can be such an inflow um, of emotions and things of this nature, especially if they're, you know, ones where you're sad and you're letting someone go or something of that nature. But whatever is happening at this time is truly opening up that flow for us or allowing for it to. Now, we can always put the resistance and the blocks in place, of course. But what is going to be best to 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 today for us? to allow that flow of abundance to come in because that's exactly what this Nile River card is talking about, all right? So hopefully we're not blocking our blessings because, you know, for all of us right now, the time is able for us to open up that flow, if you will, to allow all of the good to come into our lives. But at the same time, it's like, you know, this is not a controlled release. This is um, pretty much all at once kind of thing. So be ready for it when it happens is all I can say. The River Nile was the life force energy of Egypt. It brought life in the form of water and energy to all that was barren and dry in a natural way by the animal, sorry, the annual floods. The building of the Aset, excuse me, Aswan Dam in recent times caused frequent flooding of the temple of Isis or Aset. So the building of the Aswan Dam in recent times. So when we try to block, when we try to get in the way of the flow, then what happens is it can cause a lot of damage is what this is saying. So it says, the building of the Aswan Dam in recent times caused frequent flooding of the Temple of Isis or Aset, which was in danger of total destruction. So it was transferred to a nearby island and rebuilt. So they actually removed this temple from where it was supposed to be, all because they wanted to put in a dam, and I wonder why that was. The god Hopi, is the personification of the river Nile and he symbolizes fertility and abundance. Beautiful. So a message from Hopi, which is one of the canopic jars, if you uh, know this deck very well, but it's all about digestion and the lungs and, um, and the digestive system itself, but being able to take in and process, you know, what's happening so we don't get blocked and stuck, you know? As God of the Nile, I bring a constant source of abundance to all of Egypt. You bathe in me, you drink me, you travel along me and water your crops with me. You just need to call 
me to you and feel my joyful energy. But remember, sometimes I do overflow and cause misery. When the flooding comes, great renewal can happen. I covered the temple of Isis, that they saved her temple. Remember, when all is lost, divine and human assistance is close by if you request it. All right, so you're not alone and you don't have to go through these times alone or, you know, feel like you have to stay blocked or that you, you're stuck and can't get out of a situation, all right? So your meaning for this card for this week, for abundance, a new flow of abundance is coming to you, even if its source is hidden from you at present. A possible lottery win. Wow, beautiful. I would love that. <laughs> for love, time to nurture a present relationship. If alone, a new person will come along soon. Nice. For work and career, a time of slow progress. So this could be like a hurry up and wait energy is what this may feel like. <laughs> is what I was receiving. All right. So for work and career, a time of slow progress and setbacks, then great success. Allow some time before a big promotion manifest or to open your own business and flourish. So just know it's going to take a little time. But when the floodgates open, whoa, look out. Low Nelly is what I heard. Travel along the River Nile or any great river would be good. You may have to wait for the right time for your travel, but you will enjoy it more later if you do have to wait is what Spirit's saying. For health, swim in the river or sea or take a saltwater bath. Ooh, I did that last night. To restore vitality and energy, possible pregnancy. So yay, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> Don't make it rain too much otherwise. Cover it up, guys. For family, success for family. Members who have appeared to be failing in health and happiness. Beautiful. So everybody's starting to come around now. This is an energy that's going to help to nourish everybody around you. Everybody in your tribe, not just you, okay? So for the future, go with the flow or seek a peaceful resolution to problems. What seems lost now will be restored. So all is never lost is what Spirit is saying. So don't ever play into those, you know, emotions of feeling like that you have been abandoned and things of that nature because you haven't. It's just we have to wait for the natural timing of things to come around, all right, for those floodgates to open. And we have a deciding factor, if you will, you know, we decide when all of this happens. But are we ready to allow ourselves to open up to love again? Or are we still focusing on those disappointments of the past, perhaps, and not allowing our heart to be able to open again, all right? Because we choose what we end and what we begin in our lives, you know? It's all up to us. We are the master of our sails, the captain of our seas, you know, if we choose to be. Let us see. Ooh. Did you see that? Cars are trying to fly at me today. I don't know why I'm speaking in a little bit of a softer tone. I am doing the reading the morning before I go to work. So we'll see. Anyway, let's cut the cards and get into the energy. I just feel a, a lot more of a peaceful energy. I feel like a lot more of us are doing. Ooh, definitely, hopefully you're healing that heart. We want to take those swords out if we haven't yet, because this is not the energy we want crossing us unless it's for good reasons, like it's helping us to heal. Ooh, but it's not, because if we stay in that energy, our wheel is going to be affected. We want it to keep spinning in our favor, but maybe what that's saying is because you allowed yourself to be removed from something of this nature, that it is going to because of that ending, bring in so much more for you, right? That 10 with that Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands, taking that new journey, looking ahead, looking to the future. Where can you have more growth in your life? Yep, definitely, because something did not work out in the past, and this may have caused you an imbalance as well. But we don't have to stay blocked or stuck any longer than we choose to. It's always up to us how long these cycles last, if you will. But it does require you to go within your headspace especially and see the way you're thinking perhaps and feeling about things look at the situation for what it truly is and your part in it not just how you may feel that 
you know, you were, oh, wow, interesting. Lovers, it did talk about something could come back together again. Very interesting here to see the lovers after we see the two of cups in reverse. But maybe that's because it needed to step up to a higher level of commitment is what this is saying. Maybe somebody did have to take a journey for a little while and allow that wheel to start spinning in their favor, right? Get out of those cycles and get out of being stuck, all right? So King of Pentacles, maybe somebody is coming back offering a lot more than they were in the past, if you will. All right, so very interesting. Let us see, clarifying now what this all has to say about, because I feel like this was our blockage, and then now, interesting, we're up to now lovers showing that unblocked energy and Gabrielle, you know, blowing the horn. I have a lot of chills right now. This could definitely be reunion for some of you. And if it is, oh yes, the floodgates are going to open for sure. Lots of happiness. Putting those burdens behind you perhaps, right? Because we've had enough of that. I think we've all had enough of that. Would you agree? All right. Show me the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Wands, somebody's coming in fast for sure. All right, somebody wants to change the way that the wheel has been spinning perhaps for you. Or maybe this is you choosing to be more committed, choosing to see, you know, what has brought this unhappiness and disappointment and these lessons, what's kept you stuck, what's kept both of you stuck perhaps, all right? What is the Ace of Wands? Absolutely, the lover is coming out once again today on top of the Page of Wands. So this is you moving forward and it is a very positive energy of the, that lover's energy because we are the two of cups. No, sorry, this is the lover's. We have so much love on the table today. All right, so in any case, this is again that lover's energy and it's showing up here in your foundation. So I feel like this is definitely somebody that perhaps is either coming back into the picture again, you know, and you're using your intuition to try to decide if this is the right situation. I feel like you've been in a place of contemplation for a while, definitely pulled back in your own space. Um, I believe this person probably caused you to have to really stop and think about things, you know, why things happened the way that they did. Yes, six of cups situation. This is definitely um, a soulmate you know situation but this could have been a karmic and maybe this is saying that we we're moving from a karmic to a more a higher level of love and it may not even be with the same person we'll see because it looks like this was like one of those situations where you know somebody's always wanting you to save them kind of situation and that it needs to be equal you know you know like you need to if, if it's not equal if if a person is not putting in the same effort in their own lives and in the relationship together, there's no way that you're gonna be able to heal and do what you need to do in this lifetime. You know what I mean? There's no way you're gonna be able to have that loving relationship. This is in reverse, all right? So this is saying that we need to heal whatever this love situation is in our hearts because somebody was not honest. Absolutely, that's what this energy is saying. And it's a king coming out here of sorts, somebody who is probably very manipulative and it took you a little time to figure out what was going on here is what I'm seeing. Yeah, but you're ready to put your crown back on, cut out any of those toxic situations, right? To try to keep you chained and bound. That devil energy could be Capricorn as well that you're dealing with. The lovers, oh yeah, definitely somebody wants to take it back there again, but this is karmic, totally karmic. Somebody needs to keep their walls up for sure with this situation because I feel like somebody just wants to get you trapped in another cycle and get you stuck perhaps again. And I say that especially seeing the tower coming out on top. That eye is watching out for you though. Just know that spirit is watching for you and keeping an eye on things and is going to make sure that all of your abundance comes to you with that eight of wands energy because you deserve it, all right? But make sure that you choose wisely. Don't block yourself, all right? Don't damn that flow of abundance coming into you or allow other people who maybe, you know, are not quite as honest or not quite as honorable to try to block you as well. Look at this. Maybe she wants to leave, but he doesn't want her to leave, right? Very interesting energy to see that Nine of Wands come out there in reverse on top of 
the lover's energy today. Somebody may be willing to let their walls down, but is it the right time to, or is it the right person to do so with? Finances and career. So this may be something that's affecting you today and why you haven't been able to come together, um, which would make a huge difference. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And that may be something that you're more focused on, especially if you're not in a commitment with this person right now. But that could absolutely be why you're having the issues that you're having. Because, you know, how can you live a happy life when things aren't in order? All right. So we can't live a life of chaos. We have to get our finances in order. We have to get our lives in order. And then we can focus on all of the deeper things like love, right? But there's always going to be concerns and worries and things of that nature otherwise. So this is definitely all about love, all about unblocking your heart today, and all about allowing that abundance to flow. All right. Blessings to you for your day and week ahead. Do hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another reading. Bye for now.